Hi there, my name is Will Cullen, I'm CEO of Coraline Arts Incorporated, and this is the third in our series of videos about the Michael Chekhov acting technique. The last two videos we were talking about forward movement and backward movement. Movement that pushes towards the audience member or towards the scene partner, and movement that pulls the attention of the audience member towards you, or pulls the scene partner towards you. Today we're going to fill in the gaps, we're going to talk about the other cardinal directions. The other two directions that Michael Chekhov identified as being absolutely important are the upward and outward directions and the downward and inward directions. Now, upward and outward would best be defined as action that pushes those out around you or allows you to stand your ground and in fact Leonard Petit defined one of his primary actions as that which stands your ground. So this I refer to as expansive action. When you are ready, much in the same way as we did when pushing and pulling, can you please perform an action that expands and moves upward and outward? When you are ready, play. Now, if you haven't seen the pushing and pulling videos, then the important thing to know about psychological gestures is that they represent an aspect of what you are doing in a scene or an aspect of who you are, either to yourself or to other characters in the play. So imagine who you might be or what you might do to be expansive. If you need to, play with the energy of expanding a game when you are ready play. Consider, as you play with expansive energy, how expanding feels to you. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel strong? Is it enjoyable to expand? As we did with the other actions, let's explore with intensity. Intensity is a concept that Rudolf Le Bon loved. He liked to explore a scientific scale of 0 to 10 to talk about uh, how an actor was in terms of, well, well, anything. He had a 0 to 10 for tempo, a 0 to 10 for uh, intensity, a 0 to 10 for effort, a 0 to 10 for speed. How will you define your 0 to 10 for expansion? When you are ready, whatever it is that you initially did to expand, can you do it twice as intense? When you are ready, play. So if my initial expansion was a 5, and my second expansion was an 8 or 10, then what would a 3 or a 4 look like? Can you do an expansion that is roughly 1.5 to 2 times less intense than your initial action? When you are ready, play. Please notice, as I demonstrate these actions for you, that I tend to start with the opposite physical shape. Before I expand, I contract. Before I push, I move backward. Before I pull, I move forward. It is helpful to start from an appositional place physically, so that when you perform the action, you have room to move. I hope that that makes sense. So, Having explored three intensities of expanding, let's explore the opposite. Inward and downward would be contractive, the opposite of expansion. There are many reasons in a scene why one, why one might contract. Excuse me. One might be trying to escape from a scene, running away. One might be trying to draw attention to oneself, pulling and contracting at the same time. We might see this in situations where one is trying to garner pity. So can you, with whatever connotation emotionally or adjectatively or verbally that you like, can you 
contract, can you perform an action that moves downward and inward? When you're ready, play. Phenomenal. Now, just as we did with the expansion, whatever it is that you did, can you do it twice as intense? When you're ready, play. Cool. Now, whatever it is that you initially did, can you do that half as intense? When you're ready, play. Cool. Now, in our initial descriptions of pushing and pulling, we talked about verbing and adjectiving the action. So in much the same way, I could pull and contract. I could contract as if I were running away. Can you contract as if you were running away from something when you're ready to play? <sighs> could you expand as though you were pushing away an army when you're ready to play? <sighs> could you contract slowly? This is to agitate it to use descriptive language when you're ready to play. Could you expand firmly to use an adjective when you're ready to play? Every time you change the verb or the adjective, take a moment to appreciate how it changes the way in which you perform the psychological gesture. To this date, we have now explored direction, verb, and adjective as ingredients for our psychological gesture. We have now explored all of the directions as well, forward and back, upward and inward, up and down. Can consider that the pushing and the pulling gestures as well as, to an extent, the expansive and contraction gestures can also be performed left and right. You can push to the left, you can pull to the right, you can expand to the right, and you can contract from the left or even to the left. Consider, in playing with these gestures and in playing with these directions and these adjectives and these verbs, the way in which they can all correlate. This will all come together as we talk about quality of movement in our next lesson. If you enjoyed this instructional video on Michael Chekhov, please consider subscribing to our educational channel. If you have any questions about how we support students in their process, please visit www.coinlandarts.com. Thank you for your time.